the standard white button mushroom. Tasty. The cremini, baby portobello, delicious. The Hornady XTP, deadly. If you've been watching our last series of videos, you know that we've been concentrating on the handgun bullet torture test. My quest to find the ideal defensive handgun bullet. Well, I think I found several ideal defensive handgun bullets. But you know, for years I've been shooting the Hornady XTP. It's an excellent bullet. Uh, it's very accurate. But you know, as I was doing those tests, um, it was doing good, but it wasn't doing as good as I really thought it should or that it could. Now this is a bullet that I reload, and I reload that, I've been reloading that with a minimum charge. Uh, 5.2 grains of unique, stepping it out 740, 750, whatever feet per second at the muzzle. So I started thinking, well, if I'm using a minimum charge right now, what if I increase that charge? What's going to happen? Is my accuracy going to deteriorate? How's the bullet going to mushroom? How's the expansion going to be? So I ran a few tests. I fired five rounds at 5.4 grains, another five at 5.6 grains, another five at 5.8, and the final five at six grains. I chronographed those rounds with an Ehler Model 33 chronograph, and then I fired one bullet at each of those powder charges through the water jug and into our sand medium and uh, extracted that bullet and tested it for expansion. Very interesting results. What a huge difference a little bit of velocity makes on uh, creating a very, very nice mushroom. And indeed, my accuracy certainly didn't deteriorate. In fact, my greatest accuracy that was achieved was with the 5.8 grain bullet. I mean, it's a five shot ragged hole in that paper, and I shot that at, uh, at 10 yards. Mm -hmm.